Hello students, I am your science teacher Kavita Singh. Today we are going to learn 9th standard science chapter number 5 fundamental unit of life cell. Fundamental unit of life is cell? Yes, of course. But why the cell is called the fundamental unit of life? Because cell is the basic structure unit of our body and many cells but not the same cells are made tissues and these tissues are come together and make organs and these organs are come together and make organ system and organ system make organisms like we are also living organism right so my question is that in human body which is the largest organ yes right Largest organ is skin because our whole body is covered with the skin. Now next, who discovered the cell and then it is discovered? So answer is Robert Hooke. Robert Hooke is an Englishman discovered the cell in 1965. He discovered thin slice of cork under a microscope. From his observation, he found that the cork is made up of box-like compartment forming a honeycomb structure. He called these compartments as cell. Right? So, cell is discovered by the Robert Hooke in 1965. Instrument to see the cell. That is microscope. There are two types of microscope. First is the simple microscope and second is the compound microscope. But we can see the cells with the help of compound microscope, not by the simple microscope. Why? Because this, with the help of simple microscope, we can see small things, but very small structure may not be seen clearly with it. Therefore, a compound microscope is used for seeing the cells. Okay. Now, see the structure of compound microscope. We can put the slide over here and we can see from the this uh, hole. So, this is the eye uh, indicator. We can put our eye here and observe the slide. So, we can see the cell structure and that is the box-like structure. Okay. Now, and when in our body, we have different types of cell. You can see here, this is the nerve cell. Okay. And this is the blood cell. And this is the nucleus cell. So, nerve cell is found in the, our nerves. Blood cells are found in our blood. That is the red blood cells, white blood cells and plasmas also. And here you can see the muscle cell. These muscle cells are found in our body also. And with the uh, number of cell, we can divide the organism into two parts. First is the unicellular and second is the multicellular. So, what is the multicellular? Multicellular and unicellular means uh, organism consists of only one single cell. Means only one cell. The single, uh, single cell called unicellular. Some other organism consists of cell numbering from a few to billions, means one, two, three, and billions. Such organism is called multicellular. Okay, for example, algae contain a few cells to few hundred cells. Most plant and animal consist of several million cells. The small number of cells in a smaller organism does not in any way effect the functioning of such organs. For example, a single cell called amoeba, the single cell amoeba perform all the functions such as capturing, digestion, capturing the food, digestion the food, respiration and etc. So, we can divide the organism in unicellular and multicellular. Unicellular means one cell, for example, amoeba, paramecium, and bacteria. And multicellular means many cells from one to billions. 
for example man cow dog and etc so we can understand the number of cell uh, on the basis of number of cell we can divide the organism into two parts multicellular and unicellular okay now there are some character how can we differ, differentiate the unicellular and multicellular organism so you can see the table this side you, uh, this side the characters and this side multi unicellular and multicellular so cell membrane first is the cell membrane cell membrane is is a single cell in unicellular organism cell number is single and multicellular means large number of cell means here is we can found only one single cell and here we can found the many cells okay so these uh, uni, uh, this is the single cell and num uh, large number of cells are called multicellular function what is the function of unicellular or organism do all function are performed by the single cell like a amoeba only uh, amoeba can perform capturing the food digestion the food and respiration excretion growing etc things done by the only one single cell but in the uh, multicellular organism using specialized group of cells division of level no perform and cell specification perform different addition function okay reproduction involves same single cell means reproduction is done by the only one cell and here is uh, perform the different types of cells uh, take part in the uh, reproduction lifespan this is a short time and this is the long time so our plants are live long life animals live long life but amoeba and paramecium lives are very short so life span is very short and here is in multicellular it is very long okay now we can go ahead that is the flow chart of cell okay now we can learn the organism are divided into two parts single cell and multicellular but here we can see that the type of cell is two type prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell okay and eukaryotic cell divided into two part that is found in the plant and animal means eukaryotic cells are found into plant and animal also okay and you prokaryotic and eukaryotic so only eukaryotic is found into plant and animal okay now cell compound of cell component of cell component of cell means cell wall what is in this cell means cell is uh, which things consist the cell so cell con consist cell wall cell membrane nuclear or nucleoid cell organ <coughs> and the <coughs> and cytoplasm and so a uh, cell organ consist endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus lysosome mitochondria vacuoles plastid plastid is found in only plant not in animal and centrolysis okay so these things these compounds are found in the cell 